Yeah, they'll be going through their uh, their final checks to make sure everything's uh, set up for their uh, final approach and uh, and landing. Frank, they will be landing on the same runway as uh, the takeoff. Yeah. Yes. So three, two left. Three, two left. Yes. And just as this morning during the takeoff, um, has the traffic been stopped around uh, Toulouse Airport? Yes, for, for, for the time being, until the aircraft is safely on the ground, we've now uh, closed the airport to civilian traffic for the time being. This will be the moment when, uh, when Pete's preparing himself for uh, that final approach and landing. He knows that uh, all the eyes of the company employees are on him, so uh, he'll want to make sure it's a good one. And, and we'll debrief him if it isn't. It's not to, be, so, it's uh, not to, to, to target to be too perfect. You don't need to be perfect. You need just to be good. And if you want to be perfect, maybe you can miss it a little bit. Anyway, I think that uh, in order to minimize the taxi time, they will perform a, a rather long landing Absolutely. instead of trying to, to, to land as soon as possible just after the runway threshold. They will take some margin for safety reasons for one thing, and also in order for, for the VIP not to wait too much time the aircraft to taxi back because he will be positioned just here, mm -hmm. which is far away from the runway threshold. Now, I know that the A380 is equipped with ROPS, the runway uh, overrun protection system. Is the A350 as well? Yes, absolutely. We'll come into service with that system uh, installed, that's for sure. It is basic now on all fly-by-wire airplanes, by the way. Airbus. Airbus, Airbus. Airbus. During the, the pattern they just did, they fly, they, they flew very close to Toulouse center city. And in Toulouse there are plenty of aviation enthusiasts, uh, people, so I am sure they were watched by many pair of eyes. Oh, I believe, I believe so. I think most people in Toulouse and in the vicinity, are all, all yeah. eyes are on the A350 yeah. right now. Maybe there will be some traffic jamming with a driver. Uh, in the car, looking uh, yeah, in yeah. the sky. May happen. <laughs> this may happen. Most probably, this is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what happens in for Toulouse. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. For the A380, there was a traffic jam because every, everybody stopped on the on the highway around Toulouse, and uh, it was total jam. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm quite happy to be here on stage. I think we have one of the nicest views, especially yeah, when it sure. lands. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Instead of being stuck in traffic. Well, I can just see that it's rolled out on the final approach now. It's wings level, coming down the finals. Uh, and should be touching down in uh, in two to three minutes.
Very light winds here in, uh, in Toulouse today. Aircraft looking very stable on its final approach. Yeah, 200 feet. Sit back and enjoy, folks. It's a great landing. Reverse is deployed. Brakes in operation. Oh, yeah. Good job. Great job, guys. Smooth touchdown. Excellent. The reverse has still extended. Well, as they stow the reverse, it means that they are below 40 knots. They retract the ground spoilers. That's it. a little as they're back in a in a domain that they've tested before taxiing around the airfield so the pressure will be off slightly of course they'll be very very happy and very uh, i'm sure very content with the performance of the aircraft so what is the plan frank they'll be taxiing here up until I think the plan is to uh, is to show the aircraft off to all the employees so they're going to tax the whole length or of the taxiway uh, that will allow people to move back to uh, the delivery center for a final taxi down whiskey taxiway which is just in front of you for parking on the uh, at the just in front of the delivery center here for everybody to have a good look as if they've opened the hatch above the uh, above the cockpit to wave a flag there from what I can see my eyesight's not to... yeah no it's definitely a flag what kind of a there. flag is it what do you think Frank I would hope it was an Airbus flag <laughs> <laughs> I think so too I believe it's Pascal who's waving that flag. Yes, I'm sure it is. be the lap of honor taxiing down the taxiway past all the crowds down towards the flight test department before it makes a u-turn and repositions up here at the uh, delivery center a few moments of glory is nice after four hours of hard work <laughs>
looks like the photo chase plane has just landed, so uh, very shortly I can see aircraft over there on the, uh, on the other side of the airfield uh, taxiing out, ready for the reopening of the, uh, the airport to commercial traffic. for the crews here, the end of a successful first flight, uh, the first first flight for many of them on board. There's only uh, Fernando Alonso, I believe, that's, uh, that's done one before on the 380, of course, with Claude and Jacques. So, uh, so they'll oh, be, cool. uh, they'll be very, very pleased, very emotional, I'm sure. Yes, and once so they come back in here, we'll, uh, as they get off the aircraft, of course, they'll give us their, uh, their immediate feedback on how the, how the flight went. Uh, to, to finish you, you, uh, the questions that you, uh, you have asked for, the dream of any pilots to be experimental test pilot. Uh, as, as I have explained, for airline pilots, this is not a problem, they don't think about it. But anyway, for all aircraft manufacturers, uh, all the pilots working in this environment of aircraft manufacturer, wish to be one day experimental test pilot, which means that they have all the qualification to perform a first flight. Because there is a, another test pilot, which are essentially production pilots. In that case, they wish to be upgrade to be experimental test pilot. So my answer is yes. Most Air, uh, pilots which are used by the aircraft manufacturer dream to be experimental test pilots. I speak under your control. Uh. That's, that's <laughs> absolutely fine, Pierre. <laughs> and Pierre, if I may, what kinds of qualities does one need to have to be an experiment, experimental test pilot? Uh, I'm, for, first of all, they have to, to, to go through a, a test pilot school, which are dedicated pilot school where the course is, at, is nine months and uh, to have the quality to, uh, to be an experimental test pilot. It depends because there is test pilots which are more, have the gene to have uh, the capacity to quickly understand and, and fine-tune fi flight control laws, for instance and some others which are more linked to uh, uh, develop a complex systems like FMS and so on. Both are experimental test pilot, but in the test pilot family, there is some which are more devoted to handling qualities and some other more to develop complex systems. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with me? Yes, and the best is to be able to do both. To do both. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Yes, indeed, the, uh, the test pilot schools, the training that one gets in the process of becoming an experimental test pilot, uh, pushes, pushes you in both those directions. Uh, there, there are periods when you're doing systems testing uh, and analysis, and other periods when you're looking at handling qualities. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so really, uh, the, the school itself gives you a very broad education and then that's the basis on which you build once you start working with a company, of course. And then above and beyond the technical skills, are, are there any certain personality traits that make you more inclined to be a test pilot? I, I think you, you have to be able to fit in well with a team because there's a massive team that goes behind actually doing a first flight like this, like this, uh, this flight that you've seen today. Um, uh, and one has to get on, one has to fit, uh, one has to be able to communicate. Uh, what one sees, and uh, and that's a very essential part of the uh, of the business of test flying and developing aircraft. That's for sure.
Well, as we have seen today, this is a great example of, of teamwork. Everything has gone perfectly. You need, you need to trust in, in each member of the team. You cannot do things on your own. You need all the team. And it's the reason